Hi and welcome, my name is Jamie Hartley, the founder and DJ tutor here at Crossfader. Today's video is all about Serato Flip. This is an expansion pack for the Serato DJ Pro software. Serato Flip is a powerful tool that allows you to create edits of any of your tracks. You can then store these edits as what you call flips to then recall at any point. You can do this no matter what controller you own, but some controllers are easier than others to access the flip functions. In this video, we've got five examples of how you can use Serato Flip on your music in your library to either prepare or get creative. Serato Flip is a $29 expansion. However, it does ship with quite a lot of equipment nowadays, so just check your box when you get any new equipment. After watching all five examples, please drop a comment below to let us know which one is your favorite or if there are any that you've used currently or if there are any that you didn't know about that you might try in your next DJ set. Let's take a closer look. First, to access Serato DJ Flip, let's open the tab in the Serato DJ Pro software. That can be located right here, and there are a few options that you can actually activate and record the Serato Flip from within the software. But for this example and the other examples, we're going to use the DDJ SX3 from Pioneer because it has dedicated flip controls. So if you don't have this controller, all the principles still apply, but you've just got to do it within the software. Before we actually create the first flip, I like to use quantize because we're playing around with the hot cues so it keeps the hot cue play nice and tight. The quantize button can be found here on the DDJ SX3 or you can turn it on or off within Serato DJ Pro right here. I've got my quantize value settings in the preferences to one beat but you can change this according to your setup and how you want to play around with the hot cues. The first way you could use Serato Flip is to create an extended intro of a track. Now I've got a Tribe Called Quest, Can I Kick It, right here on the left hand side. This track, however, starts with some vocals before the chorus comes in right here. This might clash in my mix and I might want to jump straight into the vocals. But rather than playing around with the hot cues in the mix, we could record the flip so we can take the instrumental, make it repeat a few times and then jump into this part of the track. The hot cues I've got set, this one is three beats um, into the bar because otherwise we're going to lose some of the vocal of the chorus. Can I kick it? So this is just something worth practicing. To record the flip, let the track play, hit the record button, and then just start with the first hot cue. We're going to go around four times. That's once, twice, Three times. This is the last time. Four times. And then this one comes on the third beat. One, two, three, four. Can I kick it? Yes, Once you've completed the intro, just turn the record off. Can I kick it? And it will loop automatically. But we don't want this Serato flip to be a loop. So on the screen or on the controller, you can use the secondary function using shift and then pressing the record button, it will turn the loop off. You can also do this on the screen here. Then we'll need to save that flip. On the SX3, we can hold the hot cue button and it will move to the save flip mode and we just press one of the pads. This flip is now saved within the flip pad mode. The same can be done on the screen using the Serato flip functions as well. To access saved flips on Serato DJ Pro, just click this button here and then you can go in and even rename your flips. Now if you wanted to use this flip live to mix this track in, all we'd need to do is set the track off and we can just keep hitting this flip button, this flip pad, to set the track off. And it will go round four times again and automatically go into the track. Let's have a listen. And then this time you'll notice on the screen it cuts off a bit earlier. And we're straight into the chorus. So that's a really useful way to start using Serato Flip to prepare your music to create extended intro edits. Another useful way to use the Serato Flip feature is to actually just automate the process of jumping to a different drop when the track drops in. So for this example, we've got I Put a Spell on You, the Wide Awake remix of Screaming Jay Hawkins. 
If we skip in a bit later on, you'll see we've already got a flip set up. Now to activate the flip, you can turn it on and off on the SX3 using shift and then pressing the flip pad. This will then turn on and off as you see on the screen, the drop swap flip. Let's scroll further on into the track just before the drop and you'll see this in action. And what we've done there is pre-programmed the hot cue to automatically jump to the green one over here instead of this drop. The drums are just structured a bit differently and this process by using flip to automate jumping to or from different parts of the track can then allow your sets to stand out, be a bit more unique. You've then got both options. It's still the same individual track you've got loaded, but you can choose to either have the flip active or turn the flip off. So you've got two options there when it comes to mixing this song. For this next example, we're going to take the drop of RL Grimes' pressure track and actually, like it says, flip the drop. So we're going to play around with the hot cues to recreate a new drop, record it in, and actually this time it's going to be a loop so we can continue the drop for as long as we want. We're also going to quickly change the quantize value down to a quarter beat instead of one beat because we're going to be playing the hot cues quite fast. And then as that's active, it's looping already. We don't want to turn the loop off. So then to save, just go to the save flip pad mode. We've already got one save, so we're going to save it in the second pad just by tapping it. Then at any point in the track, if we undo the flip, we can jump to that drop. For this example, we're going to look at how we can transition from one style of music to another using Serato Flip. How this works is we're going to take a hip hop track on this side, Fat Joe, all the way up, and we've got some drums underneath the hot cue pads, a kick and a snare. We're then going to double time the drums to turn it into a drum and bass style sounding track so we can then mix them together and it basically doubles the BPM value by doubling the drums up. To do this, what I'd recommend is to just have the drum and bass track playing and to jam along and then record when you're ready to record your pattern in. Now, just something to bear in mind, I'm going to turn loop snap on. What this does is when I finish the recording, the loop will then snap to the exact value that I need it to. So let's just make sure the BPMs are right. And also in the settings, I'm going to change the quantize preferences down to an eighth of a beat. Let's just change them there. And then set off the drum and bass track. And then we can just set off the Fat Joe track just so it's in time. When we're ready, record. Once we're happy with it, hold the save flip and let's just store it into the pad. Now let's look at how to use that Serato flip in the mix to move from the hip hop track to the drum and bass track. Wherever we are in the well, Fat Joe track, I'm going to jump back to the start and then layer in some vocal over the instrumental and then jump to the flip as the drum and bass track builds up. Getting ready, three, two, three, two, one, and... Get ready with the flip. Double time drums just makes it sound more like a drum and bass set. And we can use the flip just like a normal hot cue, so you could double it up again. And 
Another creative way to mix is to use something called tone play to transition from one song to another. Now using Serato Flip, we can record the tone play in with the hot cues so that we don't have to always perform it live and we can get a nice, clean tone play transition. Now for this example, I've got a remix of DJ Khaled and Rihanna Wild Thoughts and we're going to flip it into California Love, Tupac and Dr. Dre. Now, there's a quick tip I want to highlight here for this tone play. We need to create a gap in between some of the hot cues. So to do this, we're going to set what you call a silent cue at the end of the track. So if I just scroll towards the end of the Wild Thoughts track, where there's silence, and then I'm going to use this number eight hot cue pad to set up a hot cue. Now we're going to use these three notes that I've got set up here, which are those three notes to create California Love, which is this. However, to record a flip, we need to have the track continually playing rather than paused. So we're going to use this silent hot cue to create the gap in between these two hot cues. Let's just hit play, hit record on the flip and prepare this tone play transition. Once it's recorded, remember we can hold the hot cue button, save it, and then to drop the next track. And there we have the two tracks working side by side and we can just filter out. There you have it, five new examples for you to use the Serato Flip expansion. I hope you can start using some of these creative tools in your DJ sets and especially the Serato Flip expansion. Thank you so much for watching and please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff to help us keep making more videos like this. I'll see you again soon.